There is more intrigue tonight in the expanding Russia investigation. Yeah, former Trump aide boldly announced today that he will not cooperate with special counsel Robert Mueller. Then he had a sudden change of heart. KCAL 9's Christy Fajardo joins us live from the newsroom with the late developments. Christy. Yeah, Lena and Jeff, it is hard to keep track. First, he was defiant. Now, Sam Nunberg seems to be conceding, telling the Associated Press late tonight he'll likely end up cooperating. All day long, though, he gave a series of head scratching interviews, insisting he wouldn't show up to the grand jury this Friday. They want me over at the grand jury. Screw that. Why do I have to go? Why? For what? A former Trump campaign aide is vowing to defy special counsel Robert Mueller's subpoena. Now Sam Nunberg is turning heads and making the rounds on cable news. And no outlet is too small. Check out what he told the Manhattan station about White House press secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders. She's a joke. Okay, fine. Yeah, she's unattractive. She's a fat slob. I'll be fine. But that's not relevant. Her, her, the person she works for has a 30% approval rating. That's not even his most controversial statement. It seems he's openly talking to everyone but Mueller about his former boss. Donald Trump caused this because he's an idiot. Because he decided to give an interview to Lester Holt the day after he fired James Comey, and then he decided to have the Russians in the Oval Office. Numberg was fired from the Trump campaign in 2015 over racist Facebook posts. Last month, the FBI interviewed him about his time on the Trump team. Yes, Mueller thinks that Trump is a Manchurian candidate. The idea that we were the Manchurian candidate, Gloria, we were a joke. Everybody was laughing at us. Nunberg says the feds have asked him to turn over email exchanges with former colleagues, including Steve Bannon and his mentor Roger Stone, who had bragged about his relationships with WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. It's a claim both men now deny. You may remember it was WikiLeaks that published embarrassing and hacked emails from the Hillary Clinton team. They think that Roger colluded with Julian Assange. I can tell you Roger did not collude with Julian Assange. Numberg, though, isn't so generous when it comes to the president. The way they asked about his business dealings, the way they asked if you had heard anything even during while well, I was fired, it just made me suspect that they suspect something about him. And you know what? Trump may have very well done something during the election with the Russians. And if what we makes find it out, if he did that, I don't know. If he did that, you know what? It's inexcusable. He also isn't sparing other Trump associates. CNN's Jake Tapper asked about the 2016 meeting at Trump Tower, where the president's son, son-in-law, and campaign manager Paul Manafort met with a Russian lawyer who claimed to have dirt on Hillary Clinton. President Trump says he knew nothing about the meeting. Do you, do you think that that's true? No. You don't think that's true? No. And those answers are piquing the interest of Burbank congressman and ranking Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee. Adam Schiff says the panel investigating Russia may now want to hear from Nunberg. Uh, certainly, if Mr. Nunberg has uh, light to shed on what the president knew before that Trump Tower meeting, we'd be interested in finding out. It's not clear what, if any, evidence Nunberg has to back up his comments. The White House took aim at Nunberg, saying he is wrong and points out he never worked in the administration. Stay tuned, Jeff. Back to you.